hi guys welcome back to my channel you are here with yes i'm her divine manifester i just wanted to jump on here and show my face let you guys know i am well i hope you guys are well doing well feeling well um i have a message today but before i get into that message i'm on here looking like this because i'm gonna make a store run i am about to go to whole foods one of my favorite favorite grocery stores whole foods I have a couple. I love Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Target, and Sam's Club, okay? I went to Sam's Club yesterday, and I got some stuff. I got me some stuffed salmon. I bought some fruit, some a whole bunch of salad. I have so much salad. I have been kind of cracking down on how I eat, how much I eat, and how much um sugar and sodium i put into my body so i've been doing that but today i am going to get i hope and believe i can get a uh, six cases of water about four gallons of water because i've been doing that as well making sure i drink a lot of water staying hydrated you have to stay hydrated so i am going i'm going to get that i'm going to get me some salad dressing some fruit some vegetables uh, I'm going to get me some cereal because there's a certain kind of cereal that I eat. So I am going to get me some cereal. I'm super excited about this cereal because I haven't ate cereal in, I want to say, a year. And I love cereal. I love Honey Bunches of Oats, but I can't eat Honey Bunches of Oats because I'm lactose intolerant. So it don't work for me. I, it's, I, I can't do the wheat. So what I have been doing is I have been eating according to my blood type. So yes. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but it is very important to eat according to your blood type. If you like me and you really pay attention to your body and how your body feels, you will know what foods are working for you and what foods are working against you. So I would, I would, if I were you, I would go ahead and research whatever your blood type is. Mine is O positive. So I eat according to my blood type. So I, if I were you, I would go and research the foods that you should eat and try it out and also before you do that pay attention to your body what a, pay attention to what foods your body is rejecting you will know if your body is rejecting because it's giving you it's making you have really bad indigestion it's making you really gassy crampy and stuff like that or you start getting bloated that's what that means that the food is not working for you it's working against you but that's not what this video is about <laughs> So I'm just gonna jump right in. So today, today's video is about asking and praying for more grace. Asking and praying for more grace. Um, it's very important to pray for the things you need. It's very important to pray for the things that you are lacking. Um, and for today, I'm not sure who this is for. You may feel like um, you need more grace you need more grace so ask the most high ask for more grace okay yes you want to ask for <clears throat> i'm sorry you want to ask for more grace because we're living in a time where no one is perfect you may you know do some things you're not so happy with you're not so satisfied with so you just want to ask you just want to ask for more grace that way you know you will you you could continue to receive the favor of god um and he pour that upon you, all right? I also wanna say, be very aware and be very observing what your surroundings, what, who you're dealing with, how you're dealing with people, um, and, and so many areas in your life. So you, I just wanna start off with the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Really, really be very observing. Pay attention to their words and actions. Pay attention to how they treating your kids. Pay attention to how, they're, how they are talking um with you around other people pay attention to how they are dealing with you how they come through for you be very very observing with those things be very and, and and a lot of times we are being tested so you can test other people you know test their loyalty i find it very very important to test people's loyalty because nowadays people are pretending people are acting so um, this is it, 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 that's just what it is. So you want to be very, very observant and you want to make sure you're paying attention to details of other people. You want to make sure you're paying. You want to be very observant with your spending. 
you want to be very balanced in your spending okay you want to you so our mind body and soul and our and our bank account has to be balanced okay so be very cognizant of how you're spending and what you're spending your money on um make it make sense okay make it make sense if you because i for me in the past, I used to spend emotionally. I used to spend on emotions like if I was feeling down or depressed or something like that, I'll go shopping and just buy stuff. Or if I'm out shopping, um, like say if I'm going grocery shopping, I would just be buying stuff off emotion knowing I don't even want it. But not knowing I don't want it until I get it and I get home like I didn't even need this because I was shopping off emotions. I, I was feeling some type of way and I just start grabbing anything now I'm mad because I overspent. So yes, be very cognitive of that. Be very, very observant of that because you don't want to overspend your pocketbook. You don't want to overspend, okay? Now, when you're making decisions and you're doing things and you're and you're um deciding on the next step in your life, the next level, the next direction, you're the next that I'm sorry, if you that's my daughter. If you hurt if you're deciding on the next direction in your life, be very observant, be very aware. Take your time, don't rush. You know, stop, pray, ask God for guidance. Okay? Ask God for guidance. And it's so simple. Father God, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you guide me in this decision that I am trying to make right now. In Jesus' name, I pray that you make it clear for me. In Jesus' name, I pray it in. Simple. Simple. Prayer don't have to be really long. Prayer don't have to be that complicated. You could just get straight to the point. Like with me going to the grocery store, I'm Father God, Holy Spirit, I pray that I go in and get exactly what I need. And I spend wisely. And I get out of there, safe and sound in Jesus' name, pray, amen. Simple. Just get straight to the point. That's part of grace. That's the grace I need. I'm hearing um, someone need to pray for divine change, divine creativity, divine power, and divine love. Those four things, well, actually five. She want grace. So you want to pray for divine grace, divine change, divine creativity, divine power and divine love simple father god holy spirit in the name of jesus i pray for divine change i pray for divine creativity i pray that you give me divine love divine power father god holy spirit i pray that you give me divine favor divine grace simple in jesus name i pray amen you want to do these things um because you're listening to this video for a reason there's something in this video that you need and you need to apply it in your life because you're going an extra mile right now in your life. You're 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 taking you're you're taking steps. You're moving, you're you're elevating, you're climbing that ladder. <laughs> I look a little rough, but I don't care. You're climbing that ladder um to success. So you want to be provided, you want to be guided with the necessary tools and things that you need to get through. Okay? I know I'm about to go into a store of business. So that's another thing I'm going to pray for. Father God, Holy Spirit, I pray that I am greeted with divine customer service, professionalism. I pray that everyone that I come encounter with are very professional, are very helpful. Simple. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Simple. We don't need to make this thing complicated, okay? We don't need to make it complicated. You want to set your intention, set your day, move forward, stay positive, think positive, keep your mind clear of any distractions. Don't let anybody come in and, and throw you off. Don't let anybody come in and, you know, mess up your day. <laughs> I just got a quick story. I remember someone called me the other day and I already know how this person is. So it's like, I already know I have to stop them in their tracks. But anyway, this person called me like, and I'm, hello? Oh my God, that's what you want? That's what you want? Uh-uh, baby, 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 baby. Calm down. 
clear it up, take it back. You're not about to call me with that energy. Stop it right away. People call you with negative energy or hostile energy. Stop it right away. Stop it in your, stop it. Don't allow anybody to spill over that negative energy into your day. Stop it right away. You don't need it. You don't deserve it. You're going somewhere. You're elevating. You're elevating. You, you, you're on a whole nother level in your life right now. You don't have time for no one to be um, spilling over that negative energy. Projecting. Projecting that negative energy upon you. You don't owe anyone anything. Because you haven't called someone or whatever in a couple of days. That's because it, 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 it's a number of things that it could be. And for me, it was because I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on my mind. I am focusing on my kids. I'm just trying to heal, stay positive, stay level-headed. I'm, I'm doing things. I have so many things that I'm doing. I really didn't think about it. I didn't think about, okay, let me call and just call. Like, I'm always thinking about people. Don't get me wrong. But when you're so focused on on trying to elevate and get to the next level and just trying to heal from the inside out, you don't really have time. God is isolating you for a reason. God is isolating you for a reason. And that's what I, I and that's what I should have said. Like, you know what? You need to go isolate yourself because that energy that you're that you're giving off, baby, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Okay? So, again, ask for more grace. Pray for divine change. You could pray for divine change for people that's around you. Pray for divine creativity, divine power, and divine love. Okay? Stay protected. Stay uplifted. Stay inspired. Stay in control of your own life, your own mind, your own decisions. Stay set in boundaries because people love crossing them. And it's okay. Stay self-loving yourself because people forget to love their self. They so busy loving other people and putting other people before them. I was one of them. I had a, I had to, I had a real awakening. Like I wasn't loving myself enough. Oh, now I am. And I don't owe anyone anything. Who gonna do something? Who gonna do something about it? If God is for you, who could be against you? He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. So, I'm gonna leave it right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till then, something cool. Drop your favorite grocery store in the comment section and your healthiest meal that you ever made. Drop it in the comment section so I can check it out and see. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.